Hey pals, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Naruto Shippuden. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and following me on this crazy Shinobi journey. I would also like to give a very special thank you to my patron. Now, before we get into the recap, the last recap of the year, I have a little announcement. In case you didn't watch the video that came out on Wednesday, or in case you forgot since yesterday when I talked about it yesterday in the beginning of that video, that this is going to be the last episode of the year. In fact, it's going to be the last episode, last video to come out for the next two weeks. Ah, now I know that that is a long time but it has been a very busy holiday season, a very long couple of months, and I just would like to take a teeny little break for me, my sanity, for my lack of sleep would be really nice. I also mentioned in that video on Wednesday that I'm hopefully gonna take maybe another break and potentially two other breaks next year because I didn't really do that this year other than I think my finals week, and I probably should have because I kind of regretted not doing that. So I will tell you all when that comes up, but for now, just a reminder that this will be the last episode of the year <laughs> ah, and the last episode until January 17th, 18th. Maybe that's a different video. Maybe that's a Wednesday. I was supposed to look this up in between recording the last episode of this one and I didn't. That being said, I apologize if this is sad news for y'all, but I really hope you understand that everyone needs to take a little break, a little vacation for themselves, and I really hope to do that uh, at least a couple of days where I don't have anything to do. I can just be a vegetable. But now, the last recap of the year. Oh my gosh. So, in the last episode, 0.25 seconds ago for me, we kind of, I guess, finished this puppet battle, except not really, because we don't know what's gonna happen after that. But with all the going back and forth and people hearing noise and Neji seeing the collapsing of the enemy base and Naruto getting farther ahead, with all of that happening, Sakura and Chio are facing Sasori and Sakura gets hit and the sand is lined with poison and it's like, ah, oh, she fell to the ground, but then she was faking it. And then she punched that Kaze Kage puppet in the face. Maybe not in the face, but she punched it and she broke it. And that was just so cool. I still feel like so where I had to roll up my sleeves. I feel like warm just thinking about it. I was just so excited. Like, ugh. Ah, it was so good. Yay, Sakura. Now I have to go back just a little bit because I just got all excited about doing that recap, the last recap. But I also wanted to do kind of what I did last week and I forgot to do it in the last video because I just was kind of ready to get into it. But I really liked that I kind of get to semi talk to you guys in real time, even though I guess not everybody watches this part. So I'll probably guess go through and actually respond. But if you do watch this part, um, I had somebody, let's see, I think it's pronounced Taiwan King. You said, I have a question. Are you like Indian or some type of Asian? And then you have a bunch of emojis that are doing this. So I get this question fairly often, like Indian and Ethiopian are like my two most common ones that I get asked. I think I might have actually answered this potentially in another video way back when, but, uh, it's actually kind of confusing because there is a lot of, what's the right word? Confusion within my family about where exactly we are from. I can tell you for certain that half my family, my mom's side of the family is Hispanic. And I want to stress Hispanic because some people in the family say Mexico and some people say Spain. So as far as my dad's side of the family goes, I don't know a lot about him, but I do know that he was African American. So I am both Hispanic and African American, which gives me this lovely complexion. 
So to the roundabout way to asking your, to answering your question is that as far as I know, I am not Indian or any type of Asian, but I really, really, really want to take one of those 23andMe tests or something like that just to find out where, where since there's so much confusion within the family. Or I guess to say arguments really is what it is. But you know, Hispanic family for you. My next couple is to you, my friend. You said that I could call you Fonzie. Hi, Fonzie. Um, actually, I'm gonna hug this. Woo, finally new episode. Yes, new episode, woohoo. You, you said a lot of things, but I'm just gonna go through. You said I wasn't expecting you to read my comments slash comments, but thank you for reading it. Of course. I, even if I don't respond, I did turn off, I will say this, I did turn off the notifications to re like receive when I get responses on my channel because even though I don't get a lot of comments there were some that were just um a little mean and even though it's the internet and people are just going to be that way I just decided I don't need to be notified every time somebody has something to say about specific features that I have so I just decided not to do that and if I come across them I just delete them all that to say is that yes you're welcome for reading um Thank you for commenting. I really appreciate you. You've been one of the people that has commented the longest. I I go back and I'm like, yeah, you've been watching my videos for a long time. So thank you for supporting me and always watching my stuff. My, my crazy, crazy nonsense. You, Fonzie, you also said, I don't like AOT, but I can understand why you don't want to watch it. Um, Thank you, because a lot of my friends are like, but it's so good. I'm like, but it's so scary. <laughs> I don't want to. I, again, there is a very, very like, point zero 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 one percent chance that I may watch it somewhere way way down in the future but right now I just don't see it happening in that same comment you said speaking of magical girl or within that realm I'd love for you to watch food wars and Aoharu ride I said that so wrong I'm sorry my Japanese teacher would whack me right now Food Wars, I think actually with Food Wars, I think I got to season four before I started to be like, hmm, getting a little, a little odd. And then with Ao How to Ride, I think I actually watched the first episode of that. Maybe the first two. And then I fell off the bandwagon. Food Wars, I do like Food Wars, even though it's so odd, but the food looks so good. And I love to eat. Even if food doesn't love me, I love food. So I just love it for, <laughs> for the food and the crazy shenanigans that is anime turning everything into a sport slash competition slash over dramatic nonsense that we all just love and can't live without. With Aul Haru Ride, I honestly, I can't remember what that one is about, but I will give it another chance. I'll let you know how I feel about it. To you, it's Robin, period. I know that there's an underscore and a period, but I know that's meant to be a Robin, period. That's hilarious. I'm also pretty sure you're Lisa's sister because she sent me a screenshot saying that you were binging my videos. Hi, Robin. Nice to see you, ish, meet you again. I know me and Lisa always joke about being sisters, so I always joke that you guys are my sisters. <laughs> you said, I love this, and then you have a little crying laugh emoji and a heart. And you said, also, please tell me your favorite fairy tale character. I need to know. Okay, this is a little hard because on the one hand, I want to be like, oh, I love Lucy and Natsu. But I really just love Levy. And very specifically, if I had to speak on, I have like three OTPs or one true pairings. And Gajo and Levy are one of them. I absolutely love the the bookworm and the bad boy little trope that they have. It's just adorable. I love that how their relationship grows from when they first meet all the way to the end. Oh, I love them so much. So like, I love them as a pair kind of. It's not really answering your question. I also really love Wendy. I have cosplayed Wendy a couple of times. I have two of her outfits. I love Wendy. I hope that answers your question. Please also Robin, you tell me even though I could just ask Lisa, but you tell me, who's your favorite fairy tale character? And anybody else who actually is watching this part, if you have a favorite fairy tale character, let me know. All right, Fonzie, we have a whole myriad of comments here. You said, I love it when there are twists because even if you're self-conscious or conscious in general that the signs are there, it still shocks you. You're right. Even when the signs are right there in front of me, it still gets me, it still gets me. And I'm just like, oh, that was good. That was so good. You also talk about taking film classes, that you can't watch movies and shows the same. I kind of understand this. I was not a film student. I was a 
theater student and please don't get the wrong idea I was not a performer I could never be a performer actually funny enough I have terrible stage fright so this actually works a little bit better because I'm basically just talking to myself even though I'm talking to you guys but I'm really just in a room by myself but I was always, I was theater, and I know that some of you are like, how can you be in theater and not be a performer? Well, there's more to it than that, okay? There's the people that make all this stuff happen, like the lighting people and the costumers. My degree is actually in stage management, so if you ever want to know what that is, it's, there's no real good definition, but if you do find a definition, it's like a whole paragraph because you can't really define it in one sentence what a stage manager does. But anyway, the point is, is that when I, as part of my program, we had to take a play analysis class. So we had to go watch plays and we had to read plays and we had to analyze them. And now I can't go see shows the same. I'm always analyzing, always. So I kind of understand what you mean. You also talk about, I'm, a, uh, I'm sorry, Fonzie, I might skip a couple of these because there's so many. Oh, I didn't respond. I just hearted it though. You said, you're talking about Shino, right? I, yeah, <laughs> I forget. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Shino, don't hate me. Yeah, I was talking about Shino, our resident bug boy. To Eric, you say, happy holidays, sassy Cassie. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna heart that. And Fonzie, you said I was gonna comment earlier, but I got distracted. <laughs> Literally me every day. Ah, uh, to my friend Igor. You can almost see in that last flashback scene how something clicked in him as he watched the puppets fall apart. Yes, I did. When I went and edited that video, I was like, oh, that looks something changed. Something changed and it wasn't good, but something changed. You said, I think this is one of the first moments when we started to realize that puppets are not real people. Or that when he started to realize the puppets are not real people and they can't replace his parents. I, yeah, I am getting that. And that's, again, it's such a good twist to make me feel for the character, to make me have sympathy so I care about the villain. Ugh, I hate it when they do that because it's, it makes me like them. Anyway, <laughs> thank you all. I appreciate y'all. I think that's all the comments for now. Yes, yes it is. I did skip a bunch. I apologize. Also, because I've been recording for almost 20 minutes and actually haven't started the episode. So, without further ado, let's get into the episode. I forgot. I was so warm and so hyped, and then I kind of lost that. Now I'm back in already. I don't know. He's really registering what just happened. I don't think Lady Chio is either. Ah, it's starting to fall apart because the puppet was destroyed. I'm going to assume this is happening anyway. That's what looks like happening. That's what we're going with. Uh, there's some melting iron sand behind her. What's going on? Maybe she built up a resistance to poisons. I'm gonna assume she has a resistance to poison. But how? I know my poison affected her. Sakura, how can you be? I used the antidote. Thank goodness it worked. Ah! That actually makes more sense <laughs> than what I thought. Ah, wow, Sakura, good job. I knew our adversary used poison, so I brought the rest with me in hypodermic form. Oh, Sakura, you're such a smart cookie! Yeah. Wait a second. There's no way the poison was neutralized. I'll just let the poison take its course. You'll wish I hadn't. Your suffering will be. Mm, you regret that. If you hadn't let him live, they wouldn't have an antidote. They wouldn't be able to prepare an antidote that easily. The antidote is prohibitively difficult to mix. If there's even the slightest mistake, even I needed to reference the mix ratio table. And I created it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, but your isn't your back also to him? Mm. I just... Did the witch do The this? fade. The fade! No. 
I've got more medical skill than anyone in the Sand Village. Certainly more than the old lady. Okay. Is he just not going to consider the fact that it could have been Sakura? Considering she's right there healing? Isn't this kid a medical ninja too? And if memory serves, she's from the Leaf Village. The Leaf's current Hokage is Tsunade. And she's known as a world-class medical ninja. That's it. She made the antidote. He got there. <laughs> That's probably not good for Sakura, though. I literally got chills all the way down into my legs. <laughs> oh, I don't <laughs> like that. <laughs> oh, maybe my body's trying to tell me something. Ugh. No. I have a bad feeling about this. Plus, music just kicked in. You know, I said this before, but if Lady Chio dies, I'm gonna be very upset. All of that must use a considerable amount of chakra. Her body has probably already reached its limit. And of course we're gonna skip to this part! No! The rest of my detonating clay and show him what a real artist can do. Oh yeah, their However, whole debate about what art that, is. I'll have to get rid of the copy ninja first. Yes, we've established off, that. But this is worth the wait. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, <laughs> that's different than the other ones. I don't like that. <sighs> oh, it's pushing him back. These aren't like the bird ones from before. They're smaller. Is that so they won't get picked off by Shuriken? Why so many? To keep you back. Naruto, wait up! You're slowing me down, Kakashi Sensei! I Naruto! Naruto! Don't do anything reckless. Yeah, yeah, I know! <sighs> this might be a bit of a sticky situation. Uh, now I'm worried. Now I'm stressed. Time to refocus the rest of my chakra to attack. We've only got three minutes to do this. <sighs> She's gonna give that other antidote to Sakura. Three minutes or we won't have another chance. Maybe. We're running low on time. Are you healed enough for a fight, Lady Chio? Let's go, Sakura. Uh-huh. It's time we put an end That was real smooth, Lady Chio. And I just I just hope that I mean, don't get me wrong, Lady Chio has been great, but I just I have so many concerns about what if she decides to change her mind because of Kakashi or his dad or whatever. I'm stressed. You can never be too careful. Stay right on my tail. go Ugh. yikes that's not good that takes care of him does it though at last now it's just the two of us hmm Naruto. Oh, don't scowl like that. And here I was about to let you see your friend. <laughs> uh... I bet seeing him like this drives you crazy. Give him back right now! Don't do it! Oh, Kakashi. I knew he was okay. Oh, man. 
could have sworn you just bought it back there. <laughs> His face. Next time, you should teach your critters to tell the difference between a real human and a shadow clone. That is, if there is a next time. <laughs> oh, just goes, Hlup! sucks him back in. It'll be all right. We will get Gara back. So calm down. <sighs> Listen to your teacher. Even though they're not your teacher anymore, technically, but... I prefer to stay flexible dealing with unexpected situations. Yeah. Developing that kind of sophisticated mindset is the mark of a true artist. Let's see. Ugh. Again, I hate how calm they always are. There are only two ways to beat this kind of foe. One is to force him to fight up close and personal. Your only other option is to beat him at his own game. Mm-hmm. How can we do that? Depending on which strategy is chosen, you'd either need a long-range specialist or someone on your team who can use long-range ninjutsu to support that kind of distance combat. Okay. If you don't have one or the other, then there's no way you'll beat him. Period. Okay, but... Mm, maybe I'm not understanding now, in the moment. The what does that mean? Intellect of Shikamaru, that would be a different story. Spell it out! <laughs> wow, thanks a lot, Kakashi Sensei. We can't just chase after him. He'll never leave himself open. Now you're within range. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we're gonna have flashbacks to this. This feels so long ago. Well, I suppose I shouldn't go easy on them, huh? It's a tough challenge. All we can do is try and punch a hole in his defenses. We're gonna have to work together. Okay. What does that entail, though? If you were following my train of thought, then keep listening. I've got a plan. What is your plan, Kakashi Sensei? And now we get back to this. Okay, great. But seriously, what is Lady Chio going to do at the end of She slipped it into her sleeve so smoothly. I'm not going to get over that. What is that? Now I see the uh -huh. reason he looks exactly the same as the day he left. He's a puppet? The reason is staring us right in the face. Oh, yes. It's been a while indeed since I last used myself. Okay. Mm. He's actually a human puppet. But I thought I thought he was the only one who could do that. So how did he do that to himself? Not necessarily that that's important, but <laughs> what? Also, I somehow am not surprised by that. Because Lady Chiu had a puppet arm too. I'm confused. I have so many questions. <laughs> what the? He's running with this poison. Hold on. If his entire body is a puppet. Then that means all of the weapons hidden inside his body are covered with that poison as well. Something wrong. Oh. <laughs> uh, something is very wrong. The effects of the antidote will wear off in less than two minutes. That's all I've got. Somehow, I have to draw him into close combat and defeat him, and I've got to do it fast. And I'll have to make the first- <laughs> A part of me feels like he's just excited to do something, I guess what he said, that he didn't have to do a, a solve a problem like this since he joined. So, he's probably in some ways excited to actually do this. Well, 
just got the crazy what eyes. What are you going to do now? Oh, of course that was the end. That ending was so not as satisfying as the last one, but it's fine. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I feel like this edit is going to be long because of all the comment reading I did at the beginning, but short as far as the actual episode goes because... Not a lot happened, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, we have, I mean, stuff happened, but like, I don't know. Just the, oh, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Just like Saucity not expecting Sakura to be the one, like thinking it was Lady Chio, but like, no, that's impossible. Like, the whole, him just working that out in my brain, and not my brain, his brain was just very interesting. And then also like on the flip side now, seeing Sakura work everything out in her brain as they're about to go into battle. I don't know why, but I love when you can hear character strategy. I just think it adds a little bit more. Getting to see a little bit more on the Naruto Kakashi end because I feel like they have been in the most non-moving battle. And that's saying a lot because a third of the team is facing themselves. <laughs> but Naruto and Kakashi having a set plan and also just Kakashi's very smooth trick. Just, ah, uh, so good, so good. But I am curious going forward because not that I think that, or not that I even thought that he would just be defeated just because his one puppet was defeated. I just, in my mind, I'm like, okay, this one is kind of winding down, but no, wait, there's more. <laughs> But him being a puppet, I don't know why. That doesn't really surprise me that much. I don't know. Anywho, I don't know. I don't have a lot of commentary on this one. I also think I used all my energy <laughs> in the last episode, but it's fine. So that being said, thank you all again for watching and following me on this crazy shinobi journey. I can't even speak. It's the last sign off. And until next year, happy new year. and. Bye.